Hello, Namaste. How are you all? I am fine. Hope the same from your side. Today, let us discuss about the effects of overthinking. Some of us are having the habit of thinking a lot. And what are the effects of this overthinking? Because they keep on thinking, too much thinking. And this creates stress. And what are the other effects of this overthinking? You are knowing this overthinking effects on our daily routine. It has got effect on daily routine. Means since we are worried, overthinking means you are worried with the thoughts, overthinking on that matter, whatever it can be. Then what happens? You won't be having the fixed time for sleeping, getting up, food. You go on as you wish, as your mind tells you. You don't have control over yourself. And moreover, you won't get or you will not have any interest at work. And what happens when you are not interested? Whether your work will be nice then? No. It will be of inferior quality and it will affect on your work. Whatever it is, if you are working in the office, if you are studying or even if you are a homemaker at home, you are immersed in your overthinking so you won't be knowing whether you have uh, added salt twice Nothing. So even the food won't come up well because you are overthinking. You don't have focus because when you are having overthinking, you, there won't be focus. And why this overthinking happens? It comes out because of any problem. It can be, uh, for example, not doing well in the exam. Or it can be problem of money, loan, relationships, breakups. And if you undergo all these problems, what happens is you won't get proper sleep. Because you are worried, you are thinking and thinking. Whether your thinking will change the whatever has happened, that you should think. First, my thinking will not affect or change what has happened. On the contrary, it will affect my health. So, I should leave it. So, you won't get good sleep because of that. No interest in your work, no concentration. So, what you will feel. Sometimes some people feel that they are not even interested in their life. They don't want to live. Now how to overcome this? We have to overcome. First thing is change your routine. Fix up that time of getting up, going to bed, whatever it is. And after getting up, daily go for a walk. Definitely, though you are not interested, you may not be feeling, no, I don't want to get up. No. As you have decided, okay, to leave the bed at 6 o'clock, leave it. Afterwards, till night, no going in the bedroom also. Do like that. And you should... Go for walking or whatever you are, exercise and all. And very, very important thing is, you should spend time in the uh, tender sunlight, 7 to 9. You can do exercise at that time. You can work in the garden. 
you can go for a walk do anything but be in the sunlight for you to serve and at least half an hour you should be and focus on your improvement think that i want to improve myself no i can't remain like that this is going to spoil my life i don't want to get my life spoiled so i want to get out of this whatever overthinking whatever problem you are facing you should decide that you have to overcome out of it i will share a small incident which happened with a lady that lady son was in the army it was his passion to join the army and his posting was at the border so this lady was all the time bothered about her son oh what my son may be doing whether the enemy hasn't attacked whether he had food in that uh, cold how he will be staying so she was all the time worried about him this made her fall sick then she went to the doctor the doctor said nothing only you have to stop overthinking then she told what i should do doctor told be busy be busy doctor told then immediately she came home she told her maid servant not to come from the next day she started doing all the household work but again what happened while washing the vessels she, she was thinking about her son while cleaning the floor she was thinking about her son so the problem was not solved then again she went to the doctor the doctor told no you should be busy physically mentally everything then only it will be solved even only if your hands are working your mind is empty no even you are mentally also you should be alert then she joined a, a mall then she in the mall what happens you have to be alert because you are knowing customers will be asking where is this thing what is that and so many hundred and one questions they are having expiry date this and that and you have to stand you are knowing that you are not sitting and doing your work in the mall so she started working there so she had no time to think at all because heavy rush used to be in that mall and 101 questions they had so when she came home she was so tired her legs used to pain so she used to have her food and go to bed and she used to get nice sleep till then she was not getting that much sound sleep now she started getting sound sleep and all her problems were solved she had no time at all to think about unnecessary thinking we do it never happens anything but negative that to thinking we never think about positive way about the negative we keep on thinking so to overcome this very very important thing is we should be busy how that lady changed her overthinking how she stopped it because she became busy so we too should be busy we should be engaged in some work or the other which will give you no rest no rest i am telling right so which will keep you busy because when you are mentally busy you don't have time at all to do any unnecessary thinking so this stops your unnecessary thinking and physically because of the work you are tired you get a nice sleep and i have told you sleep is a good medicine for many of the ailments so you get good sleep so all you are physical problems will be solved and once you are used to this you will never think about 
unnecessary things because it is quite but natural it happens with everyone so even it happens with you don't feel that something is wrong in the beginning you yourself can overcome it have a nice day